Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do a basic block graffiti bubble style uh, lettering concept. Um, this lettering style is pretty um, it's pretty popular with men. You know, some men don't like the whole script style, so the bubble or the graffiti style is real popular as far as men in the urban uh, market. What I'm going to do first is put a couple guidelines down. Now, if you're not really familiar with uh, airbrushing freehand, you can draw the letters out before you start. I usually like to start off with a light color so it gives me the ability to go ahead and sketch everything out before I uh, apply the outlines. So we're going to do a name. And we're going to do a name that has four letters, let's say uh, Jack, J-A-C-K. Now what you want to make sure is you understand and you realize where the middle of uh, your letters are. So J-A-C-K, we're going to consider this the middle. And what you want to do is go ahead and block everything out. You always want to keep in consideration where your middle is. You just want to take your time. Block your letters out, space everything out. J A C K. So I got my green in there, my lightest color. I'm gonna go ahead and put some blue on there. And the blue is gonna start showing me a little definition. Now we're going to do a gradient fade up from blue to the green. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put an outline around everything and the outline is kind of is going to make everything solid and bring everything together give it one unified uh, outline around all of the, uh, the black letters And just take your time and make sure that you got a nice, even outline around everything. And you want to make sure everything looks unified. Okay, got our outline, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a little bit more gradient fading um, on the letters fading up. And if you notice what I'm gonna do is I'm fading up, but I'm still leaving some of the green around the edges to kind of give a little depth. Now if you notice that the blue, when I fade it into the green, it gives a nice um, contrast gradient. The blue almost looks like a darker green when you put uh, the blue over top of the green. So it tricks the eye to make it think that you're using, or to make, make the customer think that you're using uh, more colors than you actually are. And you just want to take your time and get a nice gradient fading up. There we go. Now the next thing that I want to do is certain letters are overlapping over top of each other. Like here the A is overlapping on top of the J. The C is overlapping the K. So I want to be able to come in and throw a couple uh, drop shadows over some of uh, the letters that are overlapping. And you just basically do this by just kind of lightly misting uh, your, your your shadows. You don't want to make them where they're too opaque. You want to make them where they're kind of transparent with the blue. Okay, so we went ahead, put our outline on, did some shadow work. Uh, the next thing um, we want to do is I want to throw some shadow work on the outside of the letters to indicate that it's light coming from a, a source. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing some of the shadow work behind the letters. And depending on where your light source is coming from, you can put your shadows on the right or the left side. Alright, we'll put some shadows in. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more blue on the, uh, on the top. Just to kind of give it more of a three dimensional look.
One thing about block or graffiti letters, you can go as simple or you can go as uh, vast as far as you want to go depending on what the customer is trying to spend. Okay, so I think we got our blue uh, down pack. Another, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add some black around everything to kind of bring it together a little bit more. And I don't want to put the black over top of the blue. I want to butt it uh, right next to the blue. Now what I'm going to do while I'm doing this is I'm going to show you two different styles of outlining. Uh, you got the regular outline style and then uh, you know you got another sharp jagged um, outline style that's a little bit more easier and a little bit more uh, rugged look. So it's really nothing but just sharp dagger strokes. I'm going to incorporate some of those in it too. And it just kind of makes, this enhances the graphic a little bit. Sometimes you want to kind of flip it up. You got customers that want something a little different, something a little bit more unique. You can jag it up a little bit. So I'm going to do half jag and then half um, regular outline. So we got a nice black outline. Now in the graffiti world, we're gonna add a couple little um, accents or effects around the graphic to just give it more of an urban graffiti feel. We're gonna do a couple little bubbles around it. And down low, we're going to go ahead and do a couple uh, drips. Alright, so we got a nice lettering look. All the letters are spaced out correctly. We got the, the A and the C in the middle, so we know where the middle of our shirt is. Um, one of the main important things is you always want to make sure that everything is spaced out correctly. The height is nice and consistent. I'm going to go ahead and add one more effect onto it, just to kind of make it pop a little bit. And then I'm going to add one more color to everything. So the next effect is like a swirl effect. And what this does is just kind of enhance everything 
a little bit, do something a little different. Always keep it fresh. Okay, so we got the swirls in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of um, purple and overlap the swirls with some purple. Give a little shadow. Go ahead and put shadows on the drip. Now you can use any color combination you want to use. Red and orange, or if you want to do a nice female with pinks and greens, that'll work also. I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple starbursts on there that I had a bling. And I'm going to also take the purple and fade it up a little bit in the inside of the, um, the letter. There you go. A nice design. Jack. You know, got the bubble letters, got the graffiti style look, you know what I mean? A real hot seller in an urban environment. You know, um, go ahead and go to work. You know, it's time to go ahead and take it to that next level. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.